Okay, this uh, video will show you how to take your maker case plans, the DXF that you downloaded, and uh, put it into on shape and get it ready for the laser. So the first thing you're going to do is click import, find the, uh, uh, the DXF box plans that you downloaded, and put them in. It'll pop up right here. Uh, but what you're actually going to do, you don't you don't want to go to that tab. You want to stay in your part studio now that it's, now that it's been imported. And what you're going to do is just make a new sketch. Click on a plane, and then this DXF button is now here. And you should see once you've imported it, your your DXF should pop up. Click that, and there it is. Okay. Now, this isn't enough. You're not just ready to go laser this yet. Uh, first thing I would do would actually be extrude this so that it looks like the material we use in the laser, that uh, one-fourth of an inch Luan, so 0.25. And if I uh, orbit here, you'll see now we're starting to look like that thickness of the Luan, right? Okay, now you have some creative freedoms here. You can, you can add some features that that box website didn't let you add it. So you can go in and say, okay, on the top of my box here, maybe I want to have a spot for my button to go. All right, make that the size of your button, and then extrude it, remove, and there you got a spot for the button. Maybe over here you want to have a spot for your servo, just as an example. And, or maybe you want to put a little charging port, right? A little space for the cord to go. Okay, same thing. Sketch, extrude, remove. And there you go. Okay, so you can go through add whatever features you want. And then we're just about ready for the laser. So here we're going to make a new drawing. And we'll do a custom drawing. No border, no title block. Click OK. And then once you get to this point, you're going to put all your pieces in. But first, don't insert anything yet. Just uh, right-click on this, Sheet Properties. You want to make sure that you're using a one-to-one -one scale. You also want to adjust the size to be the same size as the Luan we use for the laser. And that should be 24 inches long by 12 inches tall. That's how big those like pre-made sheets are. When you do that, you'll see now you've got that sheet that looks like a piece of Luan. Now we can go to Insert, and we can select all of our parts and drop them in one by one. So there's side one, side two, and so on. Put all your pieces on here. Make sure it's the right view. Try to group them nice and, and tightly so that we minimize wasted wood. Uh, let's see. Keep changing the part. Get all your parts on here. And if they don't all fit on one sheet, that's okay. You can just make, you know, two sheets that you'll take to the laser. So get as many on here as possible. I've got three so far. Let's see. Fourth one. Okay, let's go. I need two more pieces. Part five. Looks like I might be able to fit all this on one sheet, so that's awesome. Again, if you can't, that's no worries. You'll have to just either make your box smaller or um, print on two sheets. Okay, so once you have all those on there, you are just about ready for the laser. At this point, um, you would want to export this as a PDF and go to the uh, red laser computer, and you're ready to cut. Okay, that's how you do it. Good luck.